But because we are a city of immigrants and refugees and <laughs> And he shows up at a Walmart 
in our diverse Hispanic majority community, seeking, as he told police afterwards, to kill Mexicans. Writing in his manifesto published just moments before he went on this spree, that he's going to stop the invasion of Hispanics who are taking over the state of Texas. He kills 22 people, including a 15-year-old boy named Javier from Horizon, Texas, who was about to start his sophomore year of high school. Injured dozens more in a city that loses 18 lives on average in a year. 22 in just one shooting, fueled by hatred, and we allowed him to purchase that firearm. His mother, when that AK-47 came in after he ordered it, called the police in Allen, Texas, and said, what in the hell does my son need with this weapon? He hasn't been trained in it. He's not in the military. He doesn't need it to hunt or for self-protection. And they said, man, we're sorry. It's perfectly legal right now for him to do this. Nothing <laughs> Native communities, 
indigenous people when it comes to what happens on their land or what travels underneath their land, whether it is pipelines or whether it's a mineral <laughs> rights bill.
the droughts in California, the fires that followed them, the sea level rise. This is on all of us. Our emissions, our excesses, our inaction in the face of the facts and the science and the truth. The only way to meet that is not by half steps or half measures or half the country. All of us coming in, combining together to ensure that we free ourselves from a dependence on fossil fuels. <laughs> Start right here this afternoon in Northern Oklahoma. <laughs>